Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. Hello, this is a cheap um, USB uh, thing that plugs into the cigarette lighter. What I've done, I've took the end off. Okay. And I've took out the little metal tip that protrudes out the end, put a little nut and bolt in it, a little screw and a nut, and um, a terminal. The thing about this is that it just presses on the end. And because I've had this off two or three times, it doesn't feel very um, particularly well secured on there so what I'm going to do is wrap it around with tape I'm going to wrap this all with tape then cut a couple of little windows for the these to pop through so I'll do that and bring you back okay there we are I went right around the end there because that um, bolt is live wrapped it round kind of you know tried to ensure it was taped on and then come all the way up there because to be honest I thought I'd ordered black ones but the white one the white ones arrived I might have ordered white I don't know uh, and there's the earth pieces there that will go into here now I'm toying with the idea of just leaving it like a press fit obviously with the tape it's a bit bigger yeah, so that will go into there and that will get screwed to the bulkhead I'm going to put 12 volts on there and take 5 volts out of there for my fuel gauge and that, I bought 3 of them for 2 quid delivered ok, look here on my table is a USB lead and I've just put it in the car and I've kind of measured it and I want it to be about as long as where my finger is so I'm going to shorten it around about there okay I've bared the wires back and exposed the pink wire what I've done I've cut those three off at different lengths so if I just bind them to there they're not going to touch each other uh, that's a very thin wire so what I think I'm going to do get this bit of wire crimp them together and then just bind that to there so that it just stiffens the end up a bit it's not actually doing anything other than acting as a stiffener and padding this out a bit in the crimp because this is very thin for my crimps okay I'll crimp that on and I'll be back in a bit right okay I hope you can see this um, there's a crimp on there there's my bit of red wire that you know to stiffen it all up and there's uh, there's the pink wire the braid is pulled back a little bit and then so what I'm going to do I'm just going to put a bit of heat shrink over the whole lot and shrink it on bring it back to about here uh, I've hooked that lead into that adapter there, brought it over the top I'm just trying to plug it onto the back of the fuel gauge now and a little bit of a... oh that's it that's on now, ok so now now the gauge is reading empty obviously ok yeah not a glimmer ok Well, I can see that thing lighting up. There's actually a little red telltale on that thing. Can you just see it through that gap there? I found my meter. I've got it earthed on there. I'm just kind of sticking it up the back of the fuel gauge onto that terminal. 5.12 volts. Which is alright, isn't it? That'll power the fuel gauge. 
Nice. Okay. I won't leave. I won't leave the ignition on too long. I imagine I need to put some fuel in the tank to get that to read now. Okay. Okay, I'll just go and check if the fuel gauge is working. So there's the fuel gauge. I've added fuel and now when I put the ignition on or put it to the accessory position, there you get a reading on the gauge. Now this is a few days after I filmed that little segment and this gauge has been working fine. Every time I've put the ignition on, I've got a reading. So I have very good confidence in this little setup and I will continue to test it, you know, during the life of this vehicle and I will report back if I have any problems. I'm very pleased with this setup because those little USB cigarette lighter adapters are cheap. I bought three for less than two pounds the cables are actually more expensive but again I bought three of those for about uh, five pounds and I showed you there that it is very easy to uh, modify the cable and just expose either the red or the pink wire and get you, you get your uh, you know just over five volts and that petrol gauge runs perfectly well on just over five volts so I hope you found that interesting and I hope that you might give that a try because I think it's easier to buy one of those little units and, uh, and, and a cable and modify the cable you know it's easier than trying to make a voltage regulator in my view I might be wrong. I'll just show you up the back where you can see where I've modified the cable. Hang on. So, the, so there's the modified cable sweeping in. I didn't show where I put that heat shrink on the cable, did I, when I, when I filmed making the cable? But there's the heat shrink. You can see it stiffens up the end nicely. And it just drops nicely there onto the back of the gauge. And that blue wire is the one that goes to the sender. Okay. So there we are. What's not to like? Thanks very much for joining me in Mark's Garage. You take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.